Hi there, this is J. Richard Barvel coming to you live for the JRV Morning Show. Welcome and good morning to the show. I uh, am a little bit coming in at 11.10ish, maybe a little bit before that. Usually we're here at 11. So I appreciate you being flexible with me. Uh, I, the morning didn't go as anticipated, but it still went amazing. Uh, and while I was in the shower, I got a little bit uh, lost in the time and uh, overshot uh, my time in there. But anyhow, it's okay because it led me to an idea, which is to be here and do a little bit of my routine as I go through the show. I've talked about some of the products I've used before, but I want to bring your attention to them again just because I just think it's great because there's a lot of commercials every day about products that might not be so good for us and so I, I don't think it's a problem to repeat some products that I find valuable and useful as well as that work uh, just like their mainstream uh, competitor because that's something important to me. Uh, I get frustrated when I try some of these products and I feel like it leaves my hair feeling gross or stiff or dry or um, a toothpaste that tastes absolutely disgusting. Um, I, you know, I want it still to taste good and have a nice texture. I want my hair to still be soft and, and to uh, still be manageable. I want the products to work. And so I have done a good amount of research through my own trial and error. And so I just want to share what I've learned uh, and just throw it out there. You may or may not have heard of some of these products. Um, but anyhow, that's what I want to do today. And then we'll do the usual card reading of the day and the meditation. And uh, we may not do readings today just because of how it's all gone. We'll pick that, pick that back up tomorrow. Uh, but please comment in if you have any questions along the way uh, or if you can't see something that I'm talking about. Uh, I know that it's in reverse, so I'll do my best to take some quick snapshots of these products so you can see them actually in their normal view. Okay, so first thing we're going to start off with is the Givenchy, or excuse me, <laughs> I'm thinking of another product that I used to use. <laughs> excuse me, Giovanni. <laughs> Giovanni, and it is the Eco Chick hair carrot line. And so I use the avocado and olive oil ultra moist leave-in conditioner and styling elixir. And this is for damaged or dry hair. And even though my hair isn't damaged or dry, I just like the, the extra moisture that it puts into my hair and the way it makes my hair feel nice and soft. And then I use Frisbee Gone, which is very similar to uh, Sleek and Shine, Garnier's Sleek and Shine, only it has much better products and no fillers, um, and it is uh, their Eco Chick technology, and it is, helps you keep your hair super smooth and anti-frizz, and it's, it is, excuse me, super smooth anti-hair serum. Not anti-hair. <laughs> that would be dangerous. <laughs> Anti-frizz. <laughs> Anti-frizz serum. Okay, so what I do uh, is I put my hair up like this because um, A, it helps keep it out of my way when I'm getting ready, and then it also helps start to dry it. Um, <clears throat> and this is going to be fun and interesting because I'm not used to doing this <laughs> with an audience. So to make it quick and easy, I do five pumps of the... Uh, elixir, the and then uh, five pumps of the serum. I just put them together. Actually, yeah, four to five, and much less when my hair is shorter. It's just my hair is pretty long right now. I rub them together, and then I get my hair <laughs> kind of get it going on the top just a little bit, and then massage it in my hair. And then I bring it around, some tips and tricks <laughs> that I might not do exactly like my sister, but it has helped that she has really long hair and has given me guidance. Good morning, by the way. I believe she's on watching. Good morning, Julie, too. Thank you for joining me. So I get it nice and worked in. And I do a little finger comb. Sometimes I throw it over my head. Sometimes I just kind of work it back and forth. And then I just let it dry. And that's what makes my hair look like my hair. <laughs> it's very simple, I don't do anything crazy. <clears throat> All right, so 
That's hair. <clears throat> so now I want to get into what I use for toothbrush, or, or for toothpaste, excuse me. And I'm actually going to make my own toothpaste after I'm done with this, but for now, if you want a corporate version, it is the Tom's fluoride-free natural anti-plaque and whitening toothpaste. Peppermint flavor, they have different flavors. Um, this is where you want to really check and make sure it says fluoride free. Because if you'll notice, some of them say with fluoride or however they phrase it, but there is a difference. And fluoride is what I don't want. Um, I know that the American Dental Association says that fluoride is some, you know, good for our teeth, uh, but I find that that is a little bit, well, for me, it's not true. And there's lots of research on both sides of the fence. Um, however, there is also a lot of research that the fluoride is also tied to the calcification of our pineal gland, which is in the center of our head, which allows us to have spiritual sight. And that when that is calcified, it really shuts that organ, that process down. So we don't have our, a, a, as strong of a connection or any connection uh, at all to our spiritual sight when our pineal gland gets shut down. So that's why I go about it with fluoride free. Okay. Woo. So I'm going to not go ahead. I'm not going to brush my teeth right now. <laughs> We're going to keep going with the show. Uh, and then I'm going to show you a couple products that I use in the bathtub. And then we'll uh, finish the show as we usually do. So you guys are awesome joining me here in the bathroom. So this morning was awesome. One thing I want to talk about is... Um, so I talked about the Revolution Yoga program that Adrian does that I signed up for. It's 31 days long. And uh, last, or I started it a couple weeks ago, I believe. And... Three days in, I was in the midst of my own personal crisis and overwhelm, and that was the first thing to stop. But, you know, I wanted to, I want to continue, wanted to continue, and so something that I wanted to talk about is this whole idea of picking things back up, even if we started and we didn't quite get where we wanted to go the first time, but that it's not about judging ourselves or beating ourselves up so we don't ever do it again, but it's like getting back up on the horse and trying again uh, and just going from there. And so this morning, I woke up. And I did the first day of yoga again, so I can start the process and continue and make it through all 31 days. And I, what I did to change it up is I started it to do it in the morning. I was waiting and doing it uh, towards the end of the day, and that's where I wasn't allowing myself or setting myself up for success. So I know and trust that if I get up and do it first thing, then it's done. I know it's done, uh, and then I can use that to propel myself throughout the day. So uh, I am starting, or I did start the yoga again today, so if you do want to do the Revolution Yoga program with me, I will post the link again, and uh, you can join in with me, and we can comment back and forth with one another and uh, cheer each other on. So over here uh, with the green bottles is the Eco Chick, uh, Gio, uh, Giovanni's Eco Chick Hair Care line, and it again is the avocado and oil, um, flavor, if you will, and it's the Ultra Moist Shampoo and Conditioner, and these are the, the big guys. So this is what I use, shampoo and conditioner. It is, let me tell you all the good stuff. It's certified organic, 100%. There's no animal testing, and there is uh, no parabens, lye, or uh, larynth sulfate to uh, this product. So they're safe. They're eco-friendly, <laughs> not only to us, but to the planet. And then the body wash that I use, is th I, this is one I use, I kind of switch them out. This one is no synthetic fragrance, paraben-free, and it's vegan. It's called Purely Coconut, um, or I guess Purely Coconut is the flavor, and it's Everyday Coconut Body Wash is the actual name. I like it, it smells delicious, it lathers really well. And again, earth friendly and body friendly, no chemicals. <laughs> when we're in the shower, our pores are open and we're really absorbing a lot. And it goes right into, you know, especially underarms, you know, right into our lymph lymphatic system, which reminds me about deodorant. So Tom's also creates a natural 
uh, uh, odor protection that has no aluminum. Something that you may or may not know in all of the mainstream deodorants, like if you walk into Target or Walmart and you see the Aldi deodorant aisle, all, all of those products, unless they say no aluminum, have aluminum in them. And so again, we're putting that on our underarms and it's like a direct shot into our lymphatic system and that those heavy metals are coming into our body. So they may keep us from perspiring, but they also might be killing us slowly. <laughs> so again, I don't mean to be light and uh, whatever about it, but at the same time, you know, if it's something that we can change, it's something easy that we can change. And now they carry Toms at Target uh, for a relatively uh, good price. It's no, you know, I used to have to pay $6 for it, and now usually you, can, you might be able to get it on sale for like $3.50. Um, so again, something to think about. Also, you can make your own deodorant. There's tons of recipes online. The last thing <clears throat> I want to talk about before we get into the meditation and card reading is a cure has two products that are relatively new, or at least they're relatively new to me. One is a facial cleansing gel. And one is a bright facial scrub, a brightening facial scrub. Both of them are all natural. Um, both of them are vegan, sulfate free, paraben free, and cruelty free. So uh, I really like these products. They also smell good, work good. Um, they go a long way. You don't have to use a ton of them every time. So that is uh, it for my sharing. Thank you guys for uh, joining me on that little ride in the bathroom. So we're going to go ahead and utilize this time now to close our eyes and go deeper within. And we're going to go ahead and grow roots from the base of our spine and the bottoms of our feet down into the center of Mother Earth. This is consciously connecting us to the Earth energy. She is conscious, she is awake, she is aware, and she absolutely loves to connect with us in this way. Let's take a deep breath together, feeling into this connection. Really filling up our belly. We're letting go of any tension, any stress that we might have within our bodies. Just letting it go down our roots. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Fill into the stillness. Feel into the feel good feelings. Great job, everybody. All right, let's go ahead and become aware of a personal sun that is blazing within our heart space. And let's begin to imagine that personal sun growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger past our physical bodysuit. And today we're taking it out 33 feet. This is 33 feet all around us. And it is powered from the center of our heart space out like a star in every direction. And it is powered by the literal God forces that are coming from the inside out of us. That is what is animating this reality. It is what is animating our own personal realities, as well as our own unique gifts and abilities, and our own perspective, our own per personality that we walk around in. Yes. We are in the center of our light. We're in the center of our big, huge, giant, personal sun. Feel what it feels like to be within your own energy, within your own frequency. Yes. These are feelings. These are states of being. There isn't anything to think about. All right, great. Let me just take a moment here, tuning in to where we're going to go. Hmm. Pyramid Lake. All right, so we're going to Pyramid Lake. That is in, it's between Los Angeles and Bakersfield. Um, it's about, I'd say, 45 minutes north of Burbank, the valley. Um, and it is about an hour, and about an hour from Bakersfield, south. 
Anyways, it's right off the 5 freeway. You can't miss it when you're driving uh, on, through the Great Fire. And so, even if you're not familiar, um, I would like you to imagine taking yourself to a place called Pyramid Lake here in California. Lifting off in your personal sun, and you get there faster than, the, faster than a flash. And as you are arriving at the lake, you notice this giant pyramid shape that is carved into the mountainside. And I would like you to land on the top of the pyramid. Wonderful. We're all landing there on the top. We all fit. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, so from here I would like you to notice a pillar of light that is shining uh, very bright, very similar to the Luxor in Las Vegas where there is that light at the top shining up into space. Very same, in the very same way, there is a light that is shining from the top of the pyramid, um, shining up into space, and we're sitting on, on top of the pyramid, so we are in this literal um, tube of light. Yes, this tube of light that is all around us. It is amplifying our connection to the earth, to the cosmos, and most importantly to ourselves, deeper and deeper within ourselves. Yes, let's feel that smile from across our face as we tune in deeper and deeper and deeper to ourselves. Yes, that beautiful untouched part of us that is within our heart space. Yes untouched by the suffering and the pain of this reality, the things that can distract us and feel like they bring us down. No. no. This part of us is untouched by that heaviness, by that struggle. It does not see it in our same, in the same way. Uh, we see it from our, as the same way we can see it from our human perspective. And so coming into this space and place, this also allows us to see past the limitations of our human perspective. Expanding our perspective bigger and bigger to incorporate a more universal conscious, uh, universal consciousness. Tapping into the universal consciousness that is flowing all around us, that is truly emanating from within us. Let's just again bring our conscious awareness back to our heart space. Taking a deep breath together. One more time. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and open our eyes, wiggling our fingers and toes, become a, becoming aware of our physical body whenever we are, or whenever you are ready. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so let's do a quick card reading of the day for the collective. And we're going to wrap it up. What a great show, everybody. So thank you all for tuning in and... Woo! <laughs> thank you all for joining me and tuning in live this morning. It has been fantastic. Let's get... There we go. The top of my head isn't cut off. All right. Card of the day. Highest and best good. Good morning, Heidi, by the way. Thank you for joining in and popping in live this morning. I love you lots. Looking forward to seeing you. Yes. Woo. All right. One more shuffle, shuffle. Creative. Creative is the card of the day. So, creative. When I, uh, what came to me first is this whole idea that um, we have to get creative with our story, with how we're talking about our life, with how we're talking about the unfolding reality that we are within. And if we aren't liking different parts of the story, that it's important for us to be reminded, and so this is a reminder to all of us, including myself, that we are the editor also of our movie, of our uh, production, this thing called life, and so we can go in and change that story at will and at any time to uh, better serve uh, who and what we truly know ourselves to be in this now moment. And by doing so, we are able to actually affect change on the past. I'm not going to go very deep down that rabbit hole right now, but that, just know that that is something that is happening when we change and edit our story. So. 
uh, it's important to get creative right now. There are some stressors that are triggering us. There are some crazy, chaotic, chaotic situations that are unfolding on the planet that are a bit uh, unnerving. And so one of the ways in which we can also move through these experiences, move through these changes with more ease and grace, is tuning in and tapping into our own creative abilities, our own creative expression. And so there is no accident that there is a coloring craze going on and that there's painting uh, nights that you can go have uh, wine and paint or I know now they're doing it at the Enchanted Cottage. And so there's just so many different, there's wire wrapping, there's uh, crocheting, <laughs> there are uh, people that are creating events, uh, creating different ways to uh, enjoy uh, and create sacred spaces using, you know, lights and uh, fabrics and all these different ways in which we can uh, be creative. And so um, one of the things that comes through to say now for all of us is that um, it's important to create without any pressure, to create, uh, to, tune, to help us tune into that joy, that inner child uh, within. And that when we do that, it really does assist us in organizing our thoughts helping us to move through any scary or anxious energy and allows us oftentimes to have some aha moments and bring solutions in that we might not otherwise have had access to. But there is something to tuning into our creative abilities. So creative, card of the day. If you have any questions or feedback, I would love to hear it. You can comment in uh, on Facebook as well as on YouTube and Vidme. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank you all for joining in and uh, uh, joining in and uh, being here with me live in the, the mornings at 11 a.m. weekday mornings. It has been a great pleasure and it's always an honor to join you and uh, create this sacred space of light uh, uh, and to uh, be here and have this fun time with all of you. Having these deep experiences with ourself, getting to know these inner worlds so we can begin to utilize them in new and different ways uh, bringing bringing that energy bringing our god forces in to this reality yes okay that's going to do it for today's show again thank you so much for joining me live this morning i want to surround everybody with a big huge giant hug of love i'll be back tomorrow at 11 a.m see you then